Hi guys, Dumbledore XYZ, and we're back with more Twisted Metal. <laughs> Alright, so, I've done Twisted Metal 1, I've done Twisted Metal 2, 3, and 4, and so at this point, it's time to move on to the PlayStation 2 and do Twisted Metal Black, which is the first of the M-rated Twisted Metal games. I mean, it's, it's more dark and dark and mature compared to any of the other Twisted Metal games. And, uh, I remember there was actually, uh, there was actually an online version for Twisted Metal Black, uh, which I, I think it, it was a separate release, if I remember, but unfortunately I don't, I don't have that one, and really it's kind of pointless to me even getting that one anyway, since there's no online. I mean, I'm pretty sure the servers don't even exist anymore. I mean, I'd be surprised if they do, or if they still are, uh, still do exist, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's just, it, it's, it's just nothing. I mean, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I mean, I guess it's bound to happen, you know, you're not going to find many people even playing online Twisted Metal anyway. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so anyway, for this stream, I am going to be doing Twist Metal Black and probably tackle Twisted Metal Small Brawl. <laughs> yeah, I think two opposite ends of the spectrum there. Going for a mature rated game with a lot of death, gore, and killing and heading to the opposite direction of the spectrum with something kid-friendly, lighthearted, kind of on the funny side. Alright, so, just want to double check. Um, I'll keep it a medium difficulty for right now, because I know it gets pretty insane on hard mode. It, it does get pretty insane on hard mode. Uh, of course, you can do multiplayer as well, which I think you can do like co-op story mode, I think? Uh, granted, you won't be able to unlock any endings or any any uh, story-related stuff, though. But you can do co-op story, I think, or at least maybe uh, challenge mode. So, uh, that story. Use a car and advance through the arenas to unlock the story. Blah blah blah. Challenge. Choose a car in the arena, then challenge AI opponents to, fin to fight to finish. Endurance. Find an endless series of opponents using a single car. And, at least, and this save slide here, I got 15. I, I think I probably could have done a little bit higher. But maybe, I think I was only doing it for unlocking an arena, I think that's what it was. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there are things to unlock here. I mean, there are vehicles to unlock and there, there are different arenas to unlock. Uh, weirdly though, to unlock the arenas, you have to collect these special black cubes that are hidden throughout the stages. And, and a lot of them really require you to kind of go out of your way to do some environmental damage to certain parts of the map to get the, uh, to get the uh, the black cubes, even also for, same thing for the uh, the characters too, because the characters they can only be unlocked by actually finding hidden paths. Again, kind of taking advantage of the destructible environments. But luckily, I do have everything. So, yeah, of course, you can view the uh, drivers if you want. Granted, every well, not everyone, but I guess most of the contestants in Twisted Metal Black are um, me uh, patients from a mental asylum. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess is kind of fitting, in a way. It's kind of fitting. I mean, it kind of gives them, gives them name, age, gives them the, their disorder that they are currently suffering and any treatments. And of course, like any other Twisted Metal game, you got your stats, control, speed, armor, and special. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you play one Twisted Metal game, you played them all, pretty much. Although, it kind of goes for somewhat darker slash realistic style, but we'll get into that. So anyway, got Junkyard Dog, got Brimstone, Outlaw, 
We got Mr. Grim, Roadkill, Crazy 8, Spectre, Dark Side, Shadow, Yellow Jacket, we got Axel, we got Warthog, we got Manslaughter, Sweet Tooth himself, <laughs> and of course, you get Minion. Very last of them all. <laughs> uh, granted, you only get. In order to get Minion, you basically have to beat Story Mode with every character. Uh, is it worth it? I kind of think it is. <laughs> I, I mean, considering. Yeah, he doesn't have much good controller speed, but I mean, he has really good armor and special is pretty interesting. Well, his special is pretty interesting considering I, it could go anywhere from a simple flamethrower to fireballs or even a combination. Oh. <laughs> I think for... I think for this... I think I'm gonna go for Dark Side. Cause I'll, I've always kinda liked Dark Side. Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, bipolar, okay, severe, with psychotic, and... Have tonic features, brain damage, blah blah blah, and deceptive med, shock therapy, no uh traumas do not approach. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, okay. I'll go with it. I was a bad girl one time. And now I'm gonna pay for what I did forever and ever and ever. I should have done what I was told. I should have been more careful. I shouldn't have defied Mr. Creel. That's why he did this to me. I've been alone for so long. But then, one day, I had a visitor. His name was Calypso. He said he could make it all better. He said we were going to play a game. It was the key. The only one that could open my mask. Seven years I'd been locked away inside my doll face. If I won the contest, I'd get the key. But I've been so bad. Do I really deserve to be free? Alright. My boss used to buy spare parts from this junkyard. It's where he found the pieces of my mask. <laughs> so, more or less, uh, well, the character goes by the name Dollface. Oh, give me a second here. Okay, so the character goes by the name Dollface, and, um. So, I'm trying to find. The listings for cheat codes and not cheat codes, but specials. I'm trying to find that. Hold on. Yeah, so anyway, the character goes by the name Dollface. I guess she used to work for an old guy who used to specialize in making masks and stuff like that. And I guess after making a mistake or whatever, uh, she ends up getting put into a mask. Maybe. <laughs> and so Calypso confronts her and tells her that if she wins the contest, he can give he will give her the key for the mask and set her free. Okay, where are I'm trying to find out? Okay, so freeze for so this one would be up down up. Got the mine which is right left down. Charge mine, right left down, and hold it for a second. Okay, shield is right right down. Left left down for invisibility. Jump is just L1 and R1. Rear fire is left right down, and then the fire button. 
Okay. All right. I want to see though where. It... Okay. Kind of like in Twisted Metal 2, you can do um, Minions second special attack, whatever, or something similar to that. You the fireball and freeze attack. Basically, have to hold all the shoulder buttons and then right, left, up. Yeah. Yeah, so right, right left, up. <laughs> Okay, trying to get an idea here. Just trying to get an idea. All right. So, got analog based controls, so. Something to get used to, I guess. I mean, you can still you can still technically use the actual face buttons if you want. Although at this point, I just kind of like using analog controls. Okay, so you can do tight turns by holding down the left stick, I guess. Still kind of slide around a little bit. <laughs> oh, come on. Whoa. Yeah, seven enemies to defeat. This. <laughs> I don't grant it though. I think the somewhat good thing about this game, maybe, is the fact that. Uh, yeah, you only have three lives, but the thing is, though, your lives replenish each stage. Uh, I mean, by that I mean you have three lives per stage. So I mean, you can do, you can play terribly if you, you can play terribly. And it's not gonna really, it's not gonna really uh, be detriment to you or anything like that. Full charge. All right. Okay, pushing the right stick does the turbo. Your triangle allows you to do a split view between the front and back rear view, which I kind of wish it just gave me just a simple, simple screen on the side of my display. I just kind of wish it would do that instead. Let's see, I'm trying to think weapon wise. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. I guess I can go for the health anyway. Yeah, so weapon wise, you still got your standard fire, homing, power missiles. Uh, they have the gas can, which basically that's the napalm. But at least you can actually control when you can detonate it. Got your ricochet. You still got the environmental attacks, uh, but then you also still got some bonus stuff here, though, as well. Uh, I, 
I mean, you have you have the the zoom rockets. You have the reticle. You have the satellite. Destroyed anyone yet? <laughs> it's gonna be a long fight. Got a ram bonus. Slaughter destroyed. Yeah, I do like the visual touches that this game has. Like whenever you destroy a, whenever you destroy a vehicle, you actually see the driver in a burning blaze running outside the vehicle. Uh, and actually, kind of a little good thing to note is if you actually run over the driver, you do get a slight health bonus. It's almost like doing like a finisher. <laughs> Like finishing all, finishing him off for good, I guess. But I mean, overall though, I mean, yeah, it still plays like old twisted metal. Granted, it had a more dark atmosphere, and also, got also mentioned with the weapons too. Is uh, I, I do like the fact that your weapons actually pop out. Of the vehicle, you know, it's not like they just shoot out in front of your car. I mean, they actually do pop out in front of the vehicle. Machine gun upgrades, that's good. I do like the machine gun upgrades, where your your machine guns actually do bonus damage. Oh, Ooh, good thing I have the health pickup. <laughs> I'm trying. Because luckily the rear attacks do not take up any, uh, Luckily, the rear attacks do not take up any uh, health, I guess. <laughs> Barely hanging on. <laughs> You know what, at least this game doesn't have the collision, that horrible collision stuff from uh, the original Twisted Metal games. Uh, 
I need some more turbo bad. <laughs> I got three more. Lucky shot. Oh, well, okay, we killed each other at the same time. Good enough. Works for me. You win, save game, new. No. Are you sure? Yes. Choose a level. All right, so this is something a little bit new here. Uh, you get to actually choose your levels, which, I mean, I kind of do like that. It adds a little bit more replayability. So, you know, it's not like you're just playing the same levels. Uh, okay, well, granted, not every level has multiple choices. Like, only some of them do. Oh, freeway. I can't really say where this game takes place. I mean, it's not taking place all throughout the entire world. It's kind of more, like, shrunken down into, like, like a town or something. They say this contest kills innocent people. I don't care anymore. After what happened to me, no one is innocent. <laughs> yeah, so I can't really say... I can't really say when or where this actually even takes place, because... I mean, we're obviously not traveling throughout the entire world, because we're... It seems like we're just in a one big giant city or something like that. Which I guess they're, I guess they're trying to take the same roots as the original Twisted Metal game, where that was mostly in Los Angeles. Yeah, the entire game was in Los Angeles. All right. So yeah, as you can see, I do have my two lives over again. I'm just trying to run away. Nice. Ah, uh, destroy junkyard dog. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of enemies to destroy in this game, unfortunately. A bunch of homing missiles. Oh, god. <laughs> Yeah. 
do like using minion special. It does a good amount of damage. But, kind of like before, it does eat up the entire gauge. <laughs> Although, granted, it's not as accurate, though. That's the kind of the problem. It's not as accurate. Because sometimes the fireballs just go all over the place if there's like a, multiple vehicles. And also another thing too is that your guns can overheat. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Alright, so I got the satellite pickup. Oh, that didn't go so great. Gotta find some health. Bad. Uh, okay, charge station in the middle here. We can actually get to it. Oh my god, I had the same issue as before. <laughs> Having that same issue as the first Twisted Metal game was just a pain just trying to get on the platform. <laughs> It is so dark. I mean, even on my stream, I can barely see it. But, I mean, that's just how it is, unfortunately. I mean, I wonder if we could just up the brightness on this thing. I can't even do that. I had to probably go back to the very main menu to do that. God, I just, I just really knows how dark it really is. I mean, I know this is a dark game, but it doesn't mean it needs to be in shadows too. Oh, pff. I got like, so many specials on me. Bro, kill destroyed. I'm gonna be destroyed next. <laughs> I'll get out of here. Down the four vehicles. Oh, I mean, I do like the special that Dark Side has, but it's just I just don't like the after the blur after effects. <laughs> it makes it kind of hard to see where I'm going to be aiming or where I'm going to be stopping. I guess I should say. missing. That's Spectre. <laughs> Had to turn to that. Uh -huh. well, I, at least I do like the addition of the helicopters. It kind of helps you. Um... I still missed the jump. Wow. Yeah, I do like the addition of the helicopters since uh, it, it can give you machine gun upgrades and give you ammo, give you health. Sometimes they are lifesavers. <laughs> 
at least also the map is useful as well. Like it actually does show you where health locations are at. Thank God. Because like weirdly Twisted Metal 3 and 4 didn't have that. Actually even Twisted Metal 2 didn't have that either. Got the zoom rockets, zoomy rockets. Got the reticle. If we just keep it aimed. Okay, so with the reticles, if you keep it aimed onto a target for a few seconds, it will actually charge up and land the rockets onto the target. <laughs> Pretty good accuracy. Either a highway loop or downtown. Let's. I did freeway, highway. So many ways. <laughs> I ought to go for a smaller, a really small map. <laughs> it's, granted, the map size is here. Uh, seven using this mask. My face. Has my face changed? The mask never gives. It crushes my face. Am I deformed by now? Hmm. Kind of tragic. Like she's kind of given up hope. All right. So, man, it's almost like either seven or eight enemies you got to defeat, but that's why they give you three lives per stage. Anyway, um, I got to say for the map sizes though, they can range anywhere from something small it reaches anywhere from small to massive, what they call it, where it's almost like, it's like, pretty big. <laughs> like, very, very wide open spaces. Which, the thing is, I'm not really, I don't really like the massive maps, because it's like I'm spending half the time just trying to find the enemies. I mean, I'd rather go with something small, <laughs> maybe medium at the most, but I kind of actually prefer the smaller maps. There. So on this little small, little small highway, you got to be careful not to fall into the river though, because that's instant death. Six more enemies. Ah. Oh, power missiles. <laughs> oh, of course, the stupid, the stupid car is in the freeway blocking me half the time. Brimstone. Oh, missed. Get 
keep getting frozen. Got Spectre. I'm about to go down pretty soon. I got three more vehicles to go through. Uh, I was right next to the health. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Well, it's still not bad. Managed to take care of most of the uh, enemies. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I keep getting ganged up by everyone. Okay, good enough, I guess. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oof, kind of a close one here. You win. Yeah. Halfway there, we gotta face Minion. Minion won last year's contest, but I'm not afraid of him. I just gotta find a way to pass his force field and I win. Yeah, so Minion's in the game. Holy cow. <laughs> right next to me, too. Uh, yeah, but instead of just being a simple battle, though, <laughs> you're gonna have to go out of your way to destroy his force field first. Well, for one thing, his, like, he has, is massively huge. <laughs> like, no joke, he's massively huge. Alright, so to destroy his force field, you basically have to destroy the panels that are all around his vehicle. And 
and it's not easy. <laughs> Especially when you can hit fireballs from across the map. Dang, he's crashing into me. <laughs> he's fast, surprisingly. Even according to his stats, he's not supposed to be that fast. But, uh, you know, then again, this is not the same minion you'll be playing as. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, destroy the right panel. Got that. I'm dying so bad. I'm trying. I'm trying here. I mean, it's just this size and speed is what getting to me. And remember, <laughs> I'm a big rig, so I should be able to... It's just the fact that he's even bigger than a big rig. So something, man. Alright, got the force field. Well, I'm almost there anyway. Just really the force field. Oh my god. Did they have to spawn me literally right there? <laughs> what was that? Got him. <laughs> Minion destroyed. I was asleep for hours, and the whole time I was having this really scary dream. I dreamed about my boss, Mr. Creel, working on those creepy masks he used to make. It was my first real job after college. I didn't want to screw it up. I wanted Mr. Creel to like me. But then, this one day, I made a terrible mistake. I didn't mean to upset him. I didn't mean to be so clumsy. I was just so stupid. I could feel the nails crushing the mask down on my face. 
And to make sure the mask stayed on tight, Mr. Creel made a weird-looking key. He said it would make sure the mask would never come off. Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't all my fault. Trying to get a little light on the, on the character. You're like that. In a way, you kind of feel a little sorry for her. Granted, it's just this character. <laughs> all the other characters, they... <sighs> They kind of can be psychotic, which again, that's why they're mental patients. Uh, all right, keep going. And of course, I got the cat next to me. Prison, Black Passage to Blackfield Asylum. You know, when I think about it, I wonder if my boss wanted me to die. Is it bad to think such things? Well, I mean, it seems like she's living a tragic life, I would say. Oh, God. All right, so this one is a little bit weird because you got some characters here. I missed a shot. That's nice. Avoid the attacks here. <laughs> okay, took care of him. I'm about to die next. I'll get out of here. Yeah, so he got two in the inside prison cells, so to speak. What is the health? Face another two outside in the outer reaches of the ship. And then you face the other four uh, on the island itself. So it, it's a pretty massive map. Which, again, I'm not too fond of. Shoot. <laughs> no health upgrades here. Try to be careful here because I just I don't want to end up losing all my lives. Alright, all right, reaching. Reaching the port. Shield does help a lot, <laughs> especially in this game. Gotta get some health, bad. Okay, might as well go outside the island. Be careful with the electric fence. So much it can go.
All right. <laughs> In a good position to get that health upgrade and defeat Warthog. Oh, shoot. Yeah, three more. Still got three more to go. <laughs> oh, man. Badly need more health. Looks like the only health they can find is back on the ship, I guess. I'm about to lose my next life pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So I got three more vehicles and I got on my last life. Not impossible, but it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I think really, I just don't like this map in general. Okay, one. Oh, he blocked it. <laughs> Weapon somewhere. Trapped. A lot of weapons. That's nice. Oh no. A little bit of health. Better than nothing. <laughs> Barely.
Oh my god, one more hit, I'm probably be dead. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, what, did the game just freeze on me? Oh, come on, really? Oh, thank God. <laughs> this took a while to load. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if I had to restart, but ugh, that would have been like a waste of an hour. <laughs> All right, snowy roads or driving movie? I think, uh, I think, a stream here, and yeah, just a few drop frames, not too bad. All right, anyway, now what goes snowy roads? A little change of scenery. <laughs> Everything's so dark and dreary. <laughs> Black Rock Ridge. This battleground is small and full of enemies. I gotta keep moving if I want to survive this. Hey, enemies. Black Rock Ridge. It's a pretty empty area. Actually, I think this map actually makes a reappearance in the remake, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, you could technically push the cars off the mountain, if you're that good. <laughs> if you're that good, anyway. No weapons, yeah. Perfect. Not that good idea to do that. Shadow just killed herself. Okay. Guess it saves me the trouble. Oh. That outlaw? I'm about to die pretty soon if I don't get any health. Alright. Reach, reach. Oh, shoot. Ah! <laughs> I was about to die anyway. <laughs> I think these guys are just barely hanging on too. Stop double teaming on me. Stone destroyed. Whoa. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen. Granted, Dark Side is not really the best choice for this map. <laughs> Uh, 
I have two more vehicles. Oh, shoot. Stupid missile had to get me last second. But that was a fail. I, I ended up killing myself twice. But honestly, I would probably take this over the drive-in movie map because that map is just super small. It's like no place to breathe. That's good. Oh, what the? Ah, oh, come on. Slow down. I can't get you. Oh shoot, god. It's annoying, I can't... Every time I'm trying to aim at an enemy, they just always swerve away. Okay, there's no shadow. Okay, if I can just control my own truck here. of a power missile, huh? Brimstone's down. Got Spectre. <laughs>
And it goes to Mr. Grimm. <laughs> Woo! A little bit challenging. Again, that was only because I accidentally killed myself a couple of times. Yeah. Let's keep going. Abandoned skyscrapers. It's so pretty up here. It's been so long since I've seen anything pretty. I wish I didn't have to keep fighting. Again, pretty tragic. Eight vehicles on the skyscrapers. Because <laughs> you can't have a twisted metal game without skyscrapers, apparently. Oh, I guess technically twist the model four. <laughs> Alright, I guess I should say you can't have a twist the model game without any falling hazards. I guess that's the best way to put it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. Good thing it was a guardrail. Fall off either, man. Oh. Come right here. Why can't I just turn straight? Oh, God. I hate the drifting. I don't even have any more. Uh... I used up all my turbo. One here. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, shoot. I got two. And son of a gun, I missed the jump. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I mean, I think I was about to lose that first life anyway. Stop freezing me. Oh, why can't I just grab this? I wonder if it's possible for me to even win this. Probably not. Ah, 
I'm about to be dead. Okay, 60 rounds. Why? Oh, screw it. I hate this. <laughs> it was a mistake. I was trying to shoot the other direction. Come on. I'm completely out of weapons. Nice if I actually would have hit Mr. Grimm. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, I keep falling out of the damn map. <laughs> Seriously, not the best special to be using in this map.
Oh, I lost destroyed. <laughs> Must have got pushed outside the map. <laughs> Well, I took care of your old jacket at least. <laughs> I got three enemies. I'm on last life. Let's get that health pick up. <laughs> more man Mr. Grim destroyed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Final one here. Final one. Warhawks rooftop. I'm sorry, officer. I don't want to kill you. I like the police, but I'm so tired of being locked up. <laughs> yes, so the final boss is a giant helicopter. Also protected by a shield. <laughs> and of course, in order to destroy the shield this time, you have to basically destroy uh, these tanker units. Which do spawn every once in a while, if you can find one. Yeah, yeah, these tanker units don't look very similar to Minion, though. Just no armor whatsoever, though. Okay, disable it. Shield damage. He's gotta make sure that they land... Damaged again. I think after about the third attempt, should be it. Of course, just trying to avoid Warhawk's missiles is kind of a pain. Oh, come on. Okay, well, at least I destroyed the shield. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, unfortunately, in this case, my special is not going to do anything since <laughs> Warhawk's in the air. This battle is a little bit tricky. Oh, Jesus. I tried. I tried. The problem is there's just no real place to hide. <laughs> Besides in between these little sections, but good luck. Warhawk's... Warhawk can go anywhere. Since it's not actually a vehicle. You know, like a, with wheels, I mean. Trying to get the damn health. Not letting me. Okay. Put the shield down at least. Jesus Christ.
Oof. Almost there, man. Almost there. I went to see Calypso. I told him I wanted my prize. But you know what? There's always a price to pay for something you really, really want. If I took the key, Mr. Creel was gonna die. Why couldn't he just have been nice to me? Now that I had the key, I didn't want it anymore. I like my new face now, much better than the old one. It doesn't cry and it doesn't look scared and it'll always be pretty, even when I'm old and gray inside. There's a whole lot of people in the world just like Mr. Creel. Someone has to show them that they can't do bad stuff to people like me. Well, yeah. <laughs> Gotta say, a little bit, uh, a little bit anticlimactic. I mean, all this way, just for her to not bother using the key and setting herself free. I guess she'd rather take. She'd rather be stuck in the mask. As, maybe self punishment as for one thing, maybe. But then why did she even bother taking the key and killing Mister Creo? I, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. I mean, you, you got through all this way, you might as well just use the key. Just saying. Uh, save on, like, items. That really isn't anything, but I'll just do it anyway. Maybe. Actually, no, screw it. I didn't lock anything. Alright, I am going to just mute this real quick. <laughs> Copyright song, unfortunately. Uh... But yeah, there you have it. Uh, Incog Ink with Twisted Metal Black, <laughs> and uh, I mean it's pretty different. It's I, I mean the whole gameplay structure is is the same. I, I mean it's it's still Twisted Metal at the end of the day. It's just at a darker setting, darker mature setting. Uh, but I mean it's still the same car battling action. Um, but you know overall I, I'd say. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But the thing is, any improvements I wish they could have made. Uh, honestly, I just wish they would have probably improved the environments, like the actual stages of self that you're traveling, because it, it doesn't tell you where exactly it is. I, I guess you're in the Blackfield City or something like that, because you're, you're, you're just in an entire city throughout this entire game. You're not like you're traveling throughout the entire world. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like you're traveling in the entire world or anything like that, like Twisted Metal 2, 3, or 4. And honestly, the, the environment's just kind of kind of dark and dreary. <laughs> like, it just all blends in. It looks the same, unfortunately. And um, I, I just kind of wish it was kind of more lit, lit up a little bit, a little more brightened up. But, I mean, I guess that would kind of somewhat improve that in Twisted Metal 2012. Uh... But I mean, that's, that's gonna be a while before we get to that one. At the very least, at the very least, I mean, it was a it was a pretty decent attempt having a a mature twisted metal game. And you know, I I do kind of like the characters in this game anyway. Like it's you kind of get more a better understanding on these characters as opposed to the any of the other twisted metal games where they're just there, nothing really special about them. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean... I mean, there you have a twist of Metal Black. And, uh, like, I, as I said before, there, is, there was an online version of this game, like a standalone online release for this. Uh, but, uh, 
as far as I know, the, the servers no longer even exist, so kind of sad to say. And actually, thinking about it, uh, when I got Twisted Metal 2012, it also gave me a code for Twisted Metal Black to allow me to download Twisted Metal Black on my PS3, <laughs> which kind of strange. Uh, I did use the code, and I, I thought it was going to be more of like a um, an HD rendition of the game or anything like that, but no, it's just the... It's just a standard PS2 port, but it's just weirdly I can't seem to use my my saved data from my PS2 on that game for some reason. I'm not sure why, or maybe I just didn't do it right. I don't know. So I mean, I guess if I wanted to play Twisted Metal Black on my PS3, granted still downscaled to PS2 graphics, I I mean I guess I could play it. So. But I mean I'd rather just stick to my PS2 honestly. Because, I mean, it's more well-suited for that than anything else. Alright. Alright. Alright, so there you have it. <laughs> Gotta twist them out of black. Um... Alright, just give me a few minutes, because I gotta set up my... I'm gonna do Twist Metal Small Brawl, the next one on my PS3, since I had to save data on that one. So, uh, yeah, just give me a few minutes, and, uh, you're ready to go. Alright, sorry it took a little while. I had to kind of reconfigure the settings on my PS3. Because <laughs> unfortunately, I had, still had to set up an HDMI. <laughs> and the Razer Ripsaw still uses... Uh, it still uses AVN. So it took me a while just to configure that. Alright, so anyway, Twisted Metal Small Brawl. Like I said, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. They're kind of the opposite end of the spectrum here as... Um, compared to some Black where it's just dark and gritty game... You know, a dark and gritty reality type Twisted Metal game. Here, this is just more lighthearted, kid-friendly version of Twisted Metal. Actually, thinking about it, uh, that was... That was kind of the code name originally for this game, Twisted Metal Kids, <laughs> but, you know, it later became Small Brawl. And, uh, actually, uh, what I also find, what I also find interesting about this game is, for some reason, this game came out after Twisted Metal Black, which doesn't make much sense, because the next game after Twisted Metal Black went back to the PlayStation 1. Didn't really make much sense to me. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it have been better just to kept it on the PS2? I mean, that's all I'm saying. It would have been better. And, 
you know, honestly, this game here, I, even though it is a kids related Twisted Metal game, it's not really, it's really more played for last than anything else. It's actually not too bad. Uh, it's just, you'll, you'll find that the big problem here is just the game plays slow. Like it, it's not even playing anywhere close to like, like 60 FPS or 30 FPS. I mean, it feels like I'm barely playing at 20, but I think that could be because of the graphical limitations at the time. For the most part, I think it's the graphical limitations on the PlayStation, which really just kind of more boggles my mind. Why didn't they just port this over to the PS2 where it has more graphical power? I'm just saying, it just would have made more sense. You know, I mean, considering like Twisted Metal's one through four, I play pretty decently, so I don't know why this. I don't know why this had a hard time, but I think also because they had like a somewhat choppy development cycle as well as so. I mean, it, we got what we got. That's all I can really say. And Ricard, I don't know if everything is auto saved or do I need to. Load settings data, I guess. Settings data? Yeah. I don't know if I really need to load anything or not. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, difficulty, I'll just keep it medium. Got your movies, got the intro, we got your endings. Yeah, you do have two players. I think you can probably do campaign, I think. And I, I don't really know, honestly. I think you can do campaign. I never really tried it. I think you can. Of course, you got your challenge, endurance, kind of like a twisted metal black. So, challenges, you get to pick your enemies, get to pick the stage. I think I have all the stages, actually, thinking about it. Because I know Buster's Lane and Holiday Havoc was... Those were, uh, that and also shock therapy. Those were areas where you had to unlock. And of course, endurance, on the other hand, endurance was also the survival mode, which I also unlocked. Well, okay, I actually, I, I remember the Holiday Havoc one. You had to go through 30 games, 30 opponents, I think, in order to, it was either that or to unlock mime, I don't know. So character rise. Yeah, so, I mean, the unique thing about the, the cars you're battling here is everyone's an RC, all these vehicles are RC cars, which it's not a bad approach, honestly. <laughs> so, I mean, you got the drivers being the students, school students, school kids, and then the cars being RC cars, <laughs> which is not too bad. And again, before you can actually take a look at all the, uh, the kids that you'll be battling against, uh, yeah, so you you have armor acceleration, top speed, and handling. Uh, yeah, so they basically took out they basically took out the special indicator, how, telling you how powerful your specials are. So, I I mean acceleration. I don't know. I mean acceleration. I guess it's good to know how fast you can rev up your car, maybe. But I read a I read I had the information about my special than anything else. So you got Crimson Fury. Dark side was unlockable. You have to same thing like Twist Mode Black. You had to go through. There were certain um, certain stages where you had to do certain objectives in order to you know, environmental objectives to unlock the vehicles. The certain vehicles it gets. Uh, you got Dark Side, Hammerhead. <laughs> Let's see, Hammerhead. You got Mime. <laughs> And I, I think, if I remember correctly, I think mine required you to go through 30 enemies in Endurance. But the unique thing about Mime is uh, Mime special pretty much copies anyone's special at the time. You got Mr. Grimm. Yeah, I got Slam. You got Outlaw. Piecemeal. <laughs> Yeah, piecemeal pretty much is kind of like mime, although actually piecemeal is the final boss, really. It was just parts made up of other vehicles. <laughs> and kind of similar to mime, it just ends up copying other specials. Uh, 
Curse of God Shadow. Got Spectre, Sweet Tooth. Got Thumper. Trapper was another one. Unfortunately, there's no minion in this game. It's kind of a shame. Got replaced by Trapper. Eh. Uh, I got Twister, Warthog. Which I kind of find strange with Warthog. <laughs> the armor is pretty small. <laughs> Considering Warthog is usually the more armored up type of vehicle, but oh well. Uh, you have Axel. <laughs> uh, actually, the, you need to think about Axel. If I remember correctly, there was a cut ending for Axel, which, I mean, you can actually still find it in. Um, you can still actually find the ending in, uh, in YouTube, but as to the reason why they got rid of it. Maybe because of the fact that the kid playing, the kid controlling Axel is actually a, a kid in a wheelchair. And actually, you see him in the intro anyway, so I, I don't really understand why they bother cutting out the, uh... I don't understand why they bother cutting out the, the, uh, the ending. <laughs> I don't know, M maybe... Maybe for sensitivity reasons? I don't know. Alright, so... Who am I gonna go with this time? Actually, I guess I'll. You know what? I'm gonna go with Crimson Fury. Why not? Playground Peril. Yes. Uh, so I guess really the reason why the, these kids are battling. <laughs> Kind of the same as usual, Calypso can grant them a wish, or I guess the, the bully. Oh god. Yeah, I guess now the bully this time around, Billy Calypso. <laughs> he can grant them a wish, grant any winner a wish that they want. Okay, god. I, <laughs> now I'm getting so confused since I just got out of playing Twist Mode Black. <laughs> I gotta get used to these controls. Okay, I know squares to accelerate. So we're back to basically twisted metal controls. I... Okay, I gotta go. Okay, so I have to use the back button to go back. Turbo is a battery. Well, actually, turbo and health are batteries, both of them. I do like the fact that they're using the same, at least for this stage anyway, they're using the same music from Twisted Metal 2, you know, the first first stage there with Hollywood. Just kind of more slight remixed version of it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you notice that this game just, it just plays a little bit slow. I mean, it doesn't have that fast paced action really. I mean, it feels like I'm just barely playing at 30 FPS as opposed to like typical 60 that I usually get from 3, 4, and black. This feels slow. But I mean, if you can, if you can overlook that, I mean, it's it controls pretty decently here. Yeah. Uh, gra well, granted, graphics could be a different story though. <laughs> graphics are pretty old bare bones. I mean, these are almost as flat as Twisted Metal 1. Uh, but, you know, at least the environments aren't too bad. You know, all taking place in, like, small areas that you would normally see an RC car in, I guess. Okay. I want an R1 to jump. I'm trying to remember controls here. I think it's left, right, up. I'm oh, sorry, up, down, up for the freeze. Uh, you do get three lives. I just remember that, but it's for the entire game. So you gotta be careful. 
I, I think it's for an entire game mode. I don't think it's just for individual. I don't think it's just for the uh, first stage. I think it's just the entire game. We just get three lives. Okay, right, left, down is for the... Okay. Right, left, down is the mine. I'm trying to remember controls here. I don't have the instruction manual for this. I don't even have the case for this game. Unfortunately, I just got it in a paper sleeve. Well, I mean, I, I expect I got it from eBay. <laughs> I'm out of my stuff here. Actually, maybe I can just quickly bring up the controls. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out how to do things. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so Right, left, down for the mine, up, down, up for freeze, up on R for jump, rear attack is left, right, down, and R2. Shield is right, right, down, down. And something about a special up, down, right? I don't know. So there's no invisibility, unfortunately. But I don't really mind it. I never really use invisibility. I don't think it really works that well anyway. In Single player. Alright, so weapon wise, of course, you still got your same fire missiles, homing missiles, uh, power missiles. You got the napalm, you got the ricochet. <laughs> the only new thing here, honestly, would probably just be the, well, besides environmental attacks, that would just be the Roman candle. I guess that. Yeah, I mean, just the Roman candle. Which, for the most part, the Roman candle, I guess you can say it's kind of similar to, like, the speed missiles from Twisted Metal 3 and 4. Maybe more for Twisted Metal 4. Uh, Keep accidentally setting off mines, and I'm not trying to. Okay, I guess you can do a special like that. I don't know why they have a weird special like that. You can actually set off your special by doing it up, down, right. Well, at least, luckily, the, it's not so, you're not surrounded by enemies like in Twisted Metal Black. I do like Crimson Fury Special a lot better than, but weirdly a lot better than Twisted Metal One when it's just a, a it's just a weak laser attack. 
I mean, having to be able to shoot paper airplanes, I do like that. <laughs> Flaming paper airplanes. Alright. Nope. Let's just keep going. You know what? Screw it. I'll just, I'll just do a save. Why not? Unfortunately, I didn't carry over the stage select, the arena select. So, Carnival Mall <laughs> will be the next one. Kind of a shame. I would like to have the alternate levels. Well, I mean, there are alternate levels. Or other levels, but those are in challenge mode only, and endurance. All right, so I guess we're in a carnival, maybe. <laughs> Store mine. thing I do like is your weapons do carry over from stage to stage. Yeah, I need some repairs for my car here. Right, pretty quick. <laughs> well, at least I'm not struggling as bad as a uh, twisted metal black, so that's good. All right, easy death oven. I would be fighting in a kitchen. <laughs> you know, really, I would say this would kind of make sense, but. Yeah. Kind of judging by the size, the cars are... Judging by the appliances I see and the cars around here, I kind of find it a little bit weird. <laughs> because wouldn't it make these cars be even smaller than RC cars at this point? I, I'm just saying, they probably didn't work on the scaling that much.
Because, I mean, like, these cars got to be... These cars got to be even smaller than the, um... I'm just saying, these cars have got to be even smaller than RC cars, considering... Either that, or the appliances are huge, and we're just in a giant kitchen. I don't know. I mean, these are kind of more like Hot Wheels-sized cars than RC cars. I'm just saying. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that... The bedroom stage, the bedroom arena in Twisted Model 4. Where... I guess everyone's shrunken down to, like, Hot Wheel size. Got a plumber working in the back. <laughs> At least, luckily, I don't have to worry about my guns overheating. Got some missiles, at least. Buy metal pickup. I remember that trick. Use the napalm on the guy. And he ends up farting. <laughs> and opening up a passageway. Of course, this is where you can get dark side, if I remember correctly. calls I 
Nope, don't save. Mini Golf Mayhem. Of course, there's only eight stages in this game, and kind of like Twisted Mode Black. Well, no, not exactly like Twisted Mode Black. I mean, you, you do fight a mini boss, let's just say that. So it's more like Twisted Metal 2, really. <laughs> so, at a mini golf course. I should just probably use the circle button more often so I can just do immediate stops because I keep overshooting. I, I keep accelerating too much. Got mine. At the mine once again. I mean, luckily that has pretty low armor, but everyone else, I'm oh, gonna take some time. And then again, actually, I still have one of the better specials. This guy's not even moving. Okay, now he is. Your shadow. Seems like you're always max out. For, for Ricochet, you're always maxed out of 10. Oof, okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to take damage. Trapper is approaching. Well, it sort of they closed off half of the, the arena. Oh boy.
Oof. Well, that was nice. Still gets me. Rapper, I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> A little bit tricky. I'm halfway there, man. Halfway there. Meet your maker. So now, more or less in a butcher shop. <laughs> kind of random, but I'll take it. If I can get him to his grinder, it'd be nice. Alright, actually I just realized my lives do replenish, so it's basically the same as Twisted Metal Black. You get three lives per stage. But since this game is a little bit easier than Twisted Metal Black to begin with, I would probably say this is maybe the easiest Twisted Metal game. Doesn't really surprise me since this is more kids a kids base. Ooh. Bomb destroyed by accident. <laughs>
Oof. Hammerhead. You want to save? No, no. Okay. Where I am, Gord. So we're taking it up a notch in terms of stage size. Playing on a football field. I'm not gonna say a full football field because it's not. It's not. It's not a full size. This is more like half the size of a football field. I guess in a weird way, this is kind of almost supposed to be mimicking, um, what was that, a uh, Holland from Twisted Metal 2? How it was just a, a, just a wide open area with no place to hide. I, I'm kind of guessing that's supposed to be, it's supposed to be paying tribute to that. Well, at least I got Spectre. I got Thumper. I almost got hit by a power missile. <laughs> Collision damage. <laughs> One more to go. <laughs> All right.
Okay. Not too bad. Treetop rumble. <laughs> yeah, so this is our designated skyscraper level. Well, I mean, it's just now we're battling it in a treehouse. Waiting for someone to fall off. <laughs> right, my question is My question is, how was a lawnmower up in a treehouse? I got Warthog. Oh, someone else died. I think Sweet Tooth died. <laughs> Luckily, there's a giant trampoline, so you do get a chance to come back out. <laughs> However, if you fall out on the outer sides of the uh, treehouse, you can't. <laughs> Nothing to bring you back. Oh shoot, <laughs> got hit by the power missile. Oh come on, really? <laughs> Destroyed by itself. 
Huh. Oh, this still works, I guess. <laughs> Got a little bit of a rip off here because I kind of thought. <laughs> I mean, it looked like I was about to be saved by the trampoline. I don't know. Now slaying. <laughs> the final stage, and we're at a movie theater. Actually, this one plays a little bit different too because, well, since yeah, the final boss here is piecemeal. And, but how, how this really plays out is every time you destroy a vehicle, piecemeal comes out for a little bit until you get piecemeal held down to a certain level. Then it would disappear and then the, the regular enemies will come back. So you, just, you gotta keep. You obviously have to eventually destroy all the vehicles. But I mean, it's not like you can destroy piecemeal before destroying all the vehicles. East Mill is approaching. I don't have any weapons though. No weapons. There's a shadow, and here comes piecemeal once again. I'm 
missed. That was gonna happen eventually. Oh, got the health. Oh, I should have gotten the health. <laughs> Problem is, I'm just running out of weapons. Be a last attempt.
just gotta just drive around until I get my my special meter up. <laughs> Piecemeal defeated. <laughs> oh man. Kind of a close call there. Welcome, Agent Stone. <laughs> Don't you think I'm afraid of a, a, a silly water pistol? No. But she is. Get off me! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> nice kitty! Nice kitty! Uh, mommy! <laughs> Probably one of the more satisfying endings in this game. Alright. <laughs> well, there you have it. I, actually, I don't even think there's... Yeah, there's credits, I guess. <laughs> there, if you want the credits, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, but uh, here, I mean, overall, two small small brawls. It's actually not bad of a game. I mean, if you just overlook the fact that it's obviously meant for kids, <laughs> more upbeat, lighthearted, kind of made for laughs and stuff like that, it's actually not too bad of a twisted battle game. Uh, again, granted the. Uh, it's just the speed of it, like the frame rate, it's just, it's barely even doing 30 FPS, which, you know, comparing it, you know, even like the original Twisted Metal, I believe it even ran faster than this. So, I mean, it just, I think, again, I think it's because of graphical limitations that this game had, which is the reason why the game ran slow anyway. So, I mean, it just kind of made it more, Odd why this game was just not even ported to the PS2 or you know, developed for the PS2, I should say, but I don't know. I, I can't really say why it was like that, but I mean, it is what it is. But uh, I mean, still, still not too bad. I mean, I still think it's worth trying it out, honestly. And actually, I think, thinking about it, I think Twisted Metal Small Brawl was probably. In the same regard, like Twisted Metal 4, where you can unlock every vehicle in the game, surprisingly. So, I mean, I, I guess you could take that as a as a good thing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there you have it. Got through Twisted Metal Black, Twisted Metal Small Brawl, and uh, not too bad. So, getting one step closer to finishing this little marathon here. <laughs> Well, I mean, after this, I am going to be doing, I don't know when, but the next one I'll be doing will be Twisted Metal Head On. Uh, well, I'll be doing the Extra Twisted Edition. And then, of course, i got to tackle the 2012 Twisted Metal game. That's going to be uh, some time off before I get to it. But that being said, though... Uh, I mean, so far at least I'm kind of getting an enjoyment going back to these Twisted Metal games. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Devil Hunter XYZ, and until next time. <laughs>